Rich Side K9, quick kennel life episode here. We're gonna go over some new dog breeds we have on um, deck this week. We have some unique breeds here, breeds you don't see every day, so we'll discuss those. Quick 60 second kennel update. It's never really 60 seconds, but that sounds good. And go from there, so follow along. Okay guys, starting over here at the far right side, what we call kennel one. We have a little pit bull mix, uh, Staffordshire Terrier most likely, but a little compact dog. He's got some dog aggression to him, but other than that, he's just here for boarding. Great little dog, cool little pup, doing real well. Moving down the road here, we have Mr. Gibbs. If there's one dog in this entire kennel, and there's some pretty serious dogs on that side, they will bite you faster than any other dog it's this little red healer. Um, Gibbs came here and trained long duration for a month. A while back, Gibbs had multiple bites on people. He would engage the drop of a hat. So Gibbs now comes back for boarding really whenever they uh, need to travel. It's not really safe for Gibbs to go to other places to board, to put it that way. But um, so red healer, awesome breed, fan very unique breed. Okay guys, the next two set of kennels, we have a Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. Pretty serious dog, actually has a little bit of edg edginess to him. This dog's about 120 pounds. Um, does real well here boarding. Unique dog, you don't see him every day, kind of cool. Very, very strong, very big head. A, a lot of, uh, come, oh, come back up for the camera. Whatever. Moving down, since he wants to be antisocial. She. We have a Great Dane who's here for training. This Great Dane is about 200 pounds, maybe a little bit more. It's a young male. Um, he is huge. He's here for some aggression issues. He kicks in the drive. Quiet! He kicks in the drive, won't come back out of drive. Gets very aggressive towards visitors in the house. Things like this. I'm in a working kennel right now, so excuse the background noise, but he's here for training. We've come a long way in 48 hours. We have a long way to go, but he's doing really, really well. Okay, guys. All the noise the whole time you've been hearing while I've been down there from these two dogs. We have a wolf dog hybrid. You may have seen him on some other videos. He's here for a long... Hey. He's here for long-term boarding. Um, this is a very unique breed. I don't recommend this breed really for anybody to be honest with you. He's not a dog. He does not act like a dog. He does not respond like a dog. He is a wolf hybrid. Probably heavy on the wolf. He's an import from Spain. Um, who knows? This dog is very mouthy. You see this? All he wants to do is touch you with his mouth, lick on you, put his face right in your face, give you little bites here and there. Not out of aggression, but out of affection. With that being said, this dog is incredibly aggressive to other dogs, especially male dogs. He will fight immediately. He may not look big here because he's next to you know, some Great Danes, but he's about 120-ish pounds right now at best guess. Very athletic. This dog can jump straight up in the air. He's very fast. He can run for long duration outside following me on a dirt bike. Very unique breed. I'm on the fence about their purpose, but unique breed. And next to him, we have this young Doberman male here. He's also a very high drive dog. He's also here on long-term boarding right now while some things are going on. Um, he trained here. He had some prior bites. Um, he's actually caused some pretty extensive damage. Hey, can I? He has attacked dogs. He has attacked people. He actually caused uh, his owner's daughter to break her hand, breaking up a dog fight. So it's not a good idea for him to board elsewhere, but he does good here. So uh, yeah, so Doberman, Wolf Dog, Great Dane, Greater Swiss Mountain Dog, Red Healer, and Pit Bull Terrier.
listening. Thank you for your time. Ridgeside K9 is veteran owned, veteran operated, family run. We don't have any employees. It's just us. What that means, I own it, and you can call me 24-7 to find out about your dog. We can talk, we can text, we can email, we can converse. It's a very uh, one-on-one service. We customize just about everything for you and your dog. And again, I would put our kennel, our cleanliness, our dog knowledge, our ability to house just about any and all dogs. We get a tremendous amount of dogs that are banned indoor, cannot be kenneled elsewhere. But uh, we look forward to working with you. We look forward to meeting your dog. We look forward to meeting you. And um, yeah, that's it. If we can help you, give us a call. Ridgeside Canine.